While the Red Hat exams don't require that you know how to create a network installation server, it does require that you know how to perform a network OS installation. So for all practical purposes, to practice network installations, you do have to know how to set up a network installation server. You could set it up on an HTTP, FTP, or NFS server. That server doesn't even have to be on a Linux system. But for the purpose of this video, I'll keep it simple and show you how to create a NFS installation server on a Linux system. First, you need to download the installation files. The most common format are ISO files with .iso extensions. If you have a Red Hat Enterprise subscription, it's available for download from your Red Hat network account. If you're using a rebuild distribution such as CentOS to study for the RHCE exam, download it from a CentOS server or a mirror such as mirrors.kernel.org slash CentOS. Once you collect the CDs, or specifically the ISO files that represent the CDs and or DVDs, you could burn the ISO files using a tool like GNOME Maker or K3B or even a Microsoft based tool such as Nero or Roxio. Alternatively, you could just mount the ISO file. For example, if the first installation CD is downloaded with the file name CD1.ISO, you could use the mount command shown here to mount that ISO. And then all you need to do is run the cp-a dot command to copy all the files, including the hidden files, to the installation directory. That's why I put in the dot. The dot makes sure you copy the hidden files. If you're preparing an FTP server, a logical location for Red Hat Enterprise Linux is var slash ftp slash pub. For an HTTP Apache server, logical location is the directory noted there. If you're creating a NFS server, and that's one reason why I specify that in more detail, all you need to do is specify that directory in the etc slash exports configuration file. What you need to add to that etc exports file is a directive that includes the directory, such as var slash ftp slash pub, the asterisk shares with all connected systems, in read-only mode, with synchronous reads, and you can activate the share with the export fs a command. Once you've copied all applicable files and configured things appropriately, and we'll go over the configuration of Apache, FTP, and NFS in more detail in other videos, you can start the installation server with any of the noted commands or the appropriate noted command, service httpd, start for Apache, and so on. If you've configured an NFS server, you can confirm that shares are properly made with the show mount e hostname command. Hostname represents the name of the installation server. If there are problems connecting to the installation server, as revealed from a show mount e command from a remote system, you may need to disable the firewall and possibly disable security enhanced Linux on the installation server. If you have to disable security enhanced Linux, you should reboot your system to make sure the system is booted without said protections. Yeah, I recommend that you use security enhanced Linux, but you're not tested on the quality of the installation server, so you don't need it on that system. For details on how to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux, please refer to VTC's course on the RHCT exam. If you haven't taken that course, I assume you already have plenty of experience with installing Red Hat Enterprise Linux, especially over a network.